We're going to be modeling addition in this video. This is 5.6. We've been using models to help us add two-digit numbers. We can use models to check our addition. When we see enough ones to make a 10, we regroup the ones to the tens place. So here's an example. We're going to add 37 plus 15. 37 plus 15. We start with the ones place. We start with the largest number, and we count on the other number, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have a 12. A 12 is 1 10 and 2 ones. We write the 10 in the tens place and the 2 ones in the sum in the ones place. Now we just add the tens. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 52. We can check this by using models. 37 is 3 tens and 7 ones. 15 is 1 10 and 5 ones. We can take this 5 ones and this 5 ones and make another 10 out of it, can't we? Because 5 plus 5 equals 10. We can move these up and we can move these up. And it'll make another long. See? The 5 plus 5 made a 10. Now, how many 10s do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 10s. Yes, that's correct. And two ones are left. Yes, we have 52. Let's try that again. We have 26 plus 27. We're going to add the ones place first. We're going to start with the larger number and then count on the six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13. A 13 is 1 10 and 3 ones. We put the 10 in the tens place, the 3 ones in the sum of the ones place under the line. Now we add the tens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we get 53. We can check this with models. 26 is 2 tens and 6 ones. 27 is 2 tens and 7 ones. We can move this 5 with this 5 because 5 plus 5 equals 10 and make another long of 10. We move this one up and we move this one up and that 5 and that 5 made another long of 10. Now we can count our 10s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, we have 5 and 1, 2, three ones left over. So we did it right. It checked out. It's 53. Let's try it one more time. We've got a 35 plus 19. We start in the ones place. We start with the larger number 9 and count on the 5. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. A 14 is 1 10 and 4 ones. We put the 10 in the tens place, the four ones in the sum of the ones place below the line. We count our tens, one, two, three, four, five. We get 54. We can check this with the models. 35 is three tens and five ones. 19 is one ten and nine ones. We can make a group of 10 now, if there's already 9 here, right, because of the 19, we can just take one of these and put it here to make a 10, couldn't we? This 5 and this 5 together, if we move these together, that would make a 10, wouldn't it? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 10s and 4 1s left. See? It worked. We got the right answer. Now we've been using these longs of 10 and the single units for a 1. We know 10 of them makes a long, right? Well, we can also draw a long line for a 10 and little circles for 1s. We don't need to have these. 
So if we want to add 43 plus 39, we start in the ones place, 9, and add 3, 9, 10, 11, 12. A 12 is 110, and two ones. We put the 110 in the tens place and the two ones in the sum of the ones place. We add the tens, 1 and 4 is 5, 6, 7, 8, we get 82. We can model this by using the line for a 10 and the little circles for ones. 43 would be 1, 2, 3, 4 lines for 4 tens and 3 little ones, 3 little circles. And the 39 would be 1, 2, 3 lines and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 circles, right, for 39. We can group these together to make another 10. And if there's 9 here, right, we got 9 little circles here, we can group this one with these 9 and make another 10, can't we? Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tens and two ones. Yeah, we did it right. Let's try one last one. We want to add 18 plus 17. We start in the ones place with the larger number, the 8, and count on 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 8 plus 7 is 15. We put the 1 up here from the 15 and the 5 into the sum of the 1's place. Now we add these three 1's and get a 3, right? We get a 35. Now we can check with models. We'll make one long bar for a 10, and we need 8 little 1's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We need one ten for the seventeen. We make one long bar. We make seven little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if we make it in groups of five and then the rest of them, when we go to circle the ones to make a ten, we have a five and a five. See? That's why I didn't put four and four or, you know, four and three, I made a five and then a two, a five and then a three. See that? So that way, I can just circle this as a group of ten, because it's a five plus five, right? And we have one, two, three tens, yeah, that's what we got, and three, four, five ones, so we did it right. See? So we can use the models to help us add, but we can also use the models to help us check our addition. Let's try problem solving. Which of the two numbers below will equal 84 when added together? So we have four numbers here. When two of them are added together, they're going to equal 84. Let's look at these numbers. We have a 68 and a 47. Well, when you add 60 and 40, will that give you an 80? No, even with the ones, if we ignore the ones, that's going to be a hundred something. So we know it's not these two. So we can try the 68 and the 26. Let's try that. 68 plus 26, we start in the ones place. 8 plus 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We regroup the one and put the 4 down. Now we add the ones the tens place. 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 9 tens and 4 ones. Well, we need 84. That's too big. We add the 68 plus the 16. We already know that 8 plus 6 is 14. We already did that here, didn't we? So we can just use that again. 8 plus 6 is 14. Now we add the tens place, 6, 7, 8. And it is 84. So we know that's the right answer. 68 and 16 are the two numbers that we can add together to make an 84. 
Now what about this? It says which two numbers will equal 63? So we can't use the 68. That's bigger than 63. If we add it to another number, it'll be really bigger than 63, won't it? So we're not going to use the 68 at all. We can try adding the 26 and the 16, but look at the tens place. We have a 20 and a 10. When we add these tens, we get 30 something. So that's not going to work either, is it? That's going to be too little. That's going to be too small. We need more tens. So we can try adding the 47 and the 26. Let's try that. 7 plus 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We regroup the 1, 10, into the 10's place. We put the 3 in the 1's place, and we add the 10's. 4, 5, 6, 7. Well, that's 73. We only need 63. So let's try adding the 47 and the 16 now. Okay? Because it didn't work for these or these. All right? So we're going to add the 47 and the 16. We already know that 6 plus 7 is 13. We did it right here, didn't we? And we regrouped the 1 and put the 3 down. It's the same thing. See? It almost looks like the same problem if you covered that 10 down here, doesn't it? See? So we can start the 1's doing the same thing. It's a 13. Now we can add the 10's place. We have 4, 5, 6. And we see it does equal 63. So the two numbers that we can add together that will equal 63 would be the 47 and the 16. See? So what we had to do is we just had to keep adding numbers together and trying to see if it worked. That's called trial and error. It's like guess and check. We guess which two numbers, we add them and check it. And if it's not right, we pick two other ones and guess again and add them and check them, okay? And just keep doing it until you get the right answer. So that's how we can use models of addition to help us check our answers, okay? I'll see you next video. Bye.